Hi, my name is Alicia. In this video, I'll show you how to create shortcuts to your favorite web pages on a Windows computer, a Mac computer, and an iPad. These shortcuts make it much easier and quicker to go to the website pages you use regularly without having to remember or search for their address details. Shortcuts can be created on your screen or on the bookmarks or favorites bar in your browser. Here, I'm using the Firefox browser on a Windows computer. To create a shortcut on screen, make sure that your browser does not fill the screen. Resize the browser window, if necessary, to leave some clear screen area visible. Navigate to the website you want and then drag the icon at the left of the address panel directly onto your screen as shown here. If you need a number of shortcuts, you can place them in a folder to save space on your screen. Create the folder by right-clicking a clear area of your screen. Name your folder appropriately. Drag the shortcuts into your folder, either those created previously or new ones straight from your browser. Double click a shortcut to open your browser and load the website. To show the bookmarks bar in this browser, click View, Toolbars, Bookmarks toolbar. To create a shortcut on the bookmarks toolbar, you drag the icon onto that. If you need shortcuts to a number of web pages, you can create your own menu system to show your shortcuts grouped together by category. Right click the bookmarks toolbar, then select new folder. Name the folder as appropriate. In this case, I've called it research. Click add to save it. Next, drag the shortcuts in this category onto the folder. These can be existing shortcuts or new ones. To open a single or multiple websites in this category, click the folder and select which you want to open. By clicking Open All in tabs, you can quickly have all your regular websites open and can jump between them conveniently as you work. Here's an example using the Safari browser on the Mac. If the Favorites bar is not already visible, click View, then select Show Favorites bar. Click the website address and drag it onto the Favorites bar. Navigate to additional websites as needed and drag them onto the Favorites bar as well. To create a folder on the Favorites bar, click Bookmarks and select Show Bookmarks to display the bookmark side panel. Control click or right click Favorites and select New Folder. Name the folder as you wish, in this case, Family History. This time, I drag the address on top of the folder. You can see that this shortcut now appears in the Family History folder. In the Bookmark side panel, I can drag the shortcuts I created earlier into the folder as well. I could also drag a new address straight to the side panel. 
Clicking the new folder on the favorites bar displays all the shortcuts it contains. To go to a particular website, select it in the drop-down menu. To open them all, select Open in new tabs. Close the side panel to reclaim that space. With the Safari browser on the iPad, you can add a shortcut to a number of places, including your home screen and your bookmarks bar. Open Safari and navigate to the web page you want. Tap the share icon, that's the box shaped icon with the vertical arrow. Then select the option you want. In this case, I've selected Add to Home Screen. Edit the suggested name, if you wish, and then tap Add. The shortcut appears on your screen. To create a folder on the screen of an iPad, tap and hold one of your shortcuts until all apps start to jiggle. While continuing to hold your finger on one shortcut, drag it on top of another shortcut that you want in the same folder. The folder is created and it opens to show the two shortcuts. To rename the folder, it needs to be placed into edit mode. Tap and hold one of the icons or tap and hold the title itself until the icons start to jiggle. Now tap the title and you can edit its text. The exact implementation of creating shortcuts varies with your type of computer, its operating system and your browser. And there are usually several ways of achieving a similar result but I wanted to give you some ideas on how to keep your workspace organized. In this way, your resources will be to hand whenever you need them, letting you work as efficiently as possible. I wish you joy and success with your family history endeavors.